<laughs> Once again, your neighborhood blue coal dealer brings you the thrilling adventures of the shadow, the hard and relentless fight of one man against the force of evil. These dramatizations are designed to demonstrate forcefully to old and young alike that crime does not pay. It's blue coal for finest heating service. It's blue coal for finest modern equipment. It's blue coal for the best home heat money can buy. Today, as never before, you want to get the most value for your money. Heat your home with blue coal. It's America's finest hard coal. Because blue coal is the cleanest, highest quality anthracite you can buy, you get more heat from each dollar's worth of fuel. Tomorrow, telephone the nearest blue coal dealer. And this year, save money with blue coal, America's finest home fuel. The shadow, who aids the forces of law and order, is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret. The hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Today's drama, The Phantom of the Lighthouse. <laughs> In a small, bleak room in the base of a lonely lighthouse, two men and a woman sit huddled about a table. An elderly lighthouse keeper, his wife, and their young assistant. A single lamp illuminates their strained, uneasy faces. The woman reads from an old diary. I have killed scores of men during my life. And after my death, I will continue to kill for I, Captain Josiah Blake, am the master of this lighthouse. If any man is presumptuous enough to try to take over after me, I will have his blood. I will rise from my I grave. That's enough, Lila. Don't read any more of that. Go on, Lila. Keep on reading. That's crazy talk. How can a man who's been dead 150 years come back from his grave? He came back for the other, didn't he, Bert? Uh, the keeper here before me. He strangled him and threw him down from the tower. That was an accident, wasn't it, uh, He'll kill me just like he killed him. After he's driven me crazy first. Duncan, it's true, Lila, true. Every night up there on the tower, I hear his cutlass rattling. And his voice keeps whispering in the wind over and over. I'll get you yet. I'll get you yet. Oh, stop that kind of talk, Duncan. Oh, what was that? Look up the door. Draft wrote him. Hey, he's coming in. He heard us talking about him. Turn out the lights. Put it, Duncan. Turn out. Make it out. He can't see us now. Ah! What is it, Lila? I felt something. Ice cold hands on my throat. Put it, you two, will you? Now quit it. Before you drive all of us crazy. <laughs> Stand by with that painter, Jim. will be putting in the lighthouse dock in a minute. Yeah, a place gives me the creeps with this room. Especially at this time of night. Fred was over in the mainland this afternoon. Should old Duncan have another of his spells. Got to carry on alone. Ask me if we take the supplies inside when we land it. Go inside the lighthouse? I promised Bert we would. It's a favor. Make fast, Jimmy. Yeah, okay, Mr. Strong. Okay, all set. Good. Let's get busy. Uh, here's a parcel. Bert wants to live it up to the light our star. Now, careful with it. Full of glass parts. Yeah, but me? I don't know the provisions and carry it into the basin while they're gone. You couldn't come up with me, could you, Mr. Strong? You don't believe that. You aren't about old desire Blake's ghost haunting the place, Jim. Well... Oh, forget it. Up to it now. Yeah, sure, okay. Remember, old Duncan is sick in his room and his wife is taking care of him. Don't make any more noise than you have to going up to the star. <laughs> Oh, 
blow at a climb. And that's a risk. Oh, what a place. You're getting out of here. Get I'm so fast, mate. What? Captain Josiah Blake. Well, you've come up to Midtown without orders. I know how to deal with mutiny. Oh, please. Please, I'm leaving. It's a long won't it? It'll be sure to go on down. Oh, no, let go of me. Let go of me, please. Oh, the tower door. Out of the catwalk. No. No, no, no. Any way you look at it, it's still a fantastic story, Mr. Strong. I'm not asking you to believe the story, Mr. Cranston. I didn't want to bring you out here to the lighthouse in the first place. Yes, I know. You're really convinced that I... On the side of ghosts is wandering around the lighthouse, Mr. Strong. What else can I believe, Miss Payne? Jim Fulton never done harm to anybody in his life. There's no human reason for murdering him. He might have fallen from the tower. That's right. Yes, told I him. know. The man in the cloak and the three-cornered hat you saw peering over the catwalk in the moonlight. But don't forget, Mr. Strong, you were hundreds of feet below. You could have been mistaken. But I couldn't have been mistaken about this. An old-fashioned brass button. Trusting Jimmy's hand when I reached him. Horrible to think of. He must have torn off Captain Josiah Blake's clothes during his death struggle. Captain Josiah Blake? What are you, an old pirate? Yes, Margot, as notorious as Morgan, a kid, or any of them. As I remember the story, he grew too bloody for even his own crew. They finally marooned him. Right, Mr. Cranston. Right over there on Lighthouse Island. Well, what happened to him finally? Well, they finally caught up with him, and he was killed right out there on Lighthouse Island. His ghost is supposed to have haunted the Highland ever since. Well, I hope we at least get a glimpse of this extraordinary character. Ooh, so do I. It would be the one touch to make our vacation on the rocky coast of Maine perfect. Besides, I've always wanted to see a park now. Better to see one, Miss Lane. Than to be knocked into one. <laughs> We don't want you here pestering us with your questions, Mr. Cranston. Can't you understand that? I'm afraid I've got more than your feelings to consider, Mrs. Mills. I'm looking for the murderer of Jim Fulton. <laughs> that's rich. That's rich. This man wants to arrest Captain Josiah Blake. <laughs> Duncan, control yourself. You don't seem to share your husband's ghostly convictions, Mrs. Mills. That's not of your business. Where were you at the time of Jimmy's death? In here with Duncan. He was having one of his spells, and I didn't leave the room all night. Hmm. What about you, Bert? I was down in the basement oiling the generator when it happened. I don't know nothing. Nothing. I see. Mr. Strong, I noticed an emergency ladder on the outside wall of the lighthouse. Wouldn't it have been possible while you were carrying supplies into the storeroom for someone to have passed you and run up that ladder? I don't see how. It wasn't in the storeroom more than a couple of minutes. Of course, if it was a ghost, it might have slipped right past you. It's dangerous to talk with disrespect. He may be listening. Hmm? Oh, Josiah. Duncan, stop talking like that. Why, Mrs. Mills? Are you afraid he'll reveal something? I've got nothing to hide. But maybe he has. I notice a button is missing from his coat. Good heavens, a brass button like the one in Jim's hand. I... Don't say anything, Duncan. I'm trying to trap you. I know. I know exactly what they're after. What is that, Mr. Mills? Blackmail. Somehow you found out my secret. But I'll never give it away. <laughs> what was that? Just a storm, Margot. Look out, my launch. It's swamped out there in the cove unless I put up to a Duncan, Bert, underhand. We've got to run for it. Okay, Mr. Strong. I will give you a hand, too. No, wait. Mr. Cranston, I, I've got something to say. Huh? I lied about my husband. He wasn't with me all the time last night. Why are you confessing this now, Mrs. Mills? Because I want you to take him back to the mainland, New York. He's sick. He needs attention. You mean his obsession with Captain Josiah Yes, ma'am. I thought he was just a little touched by the loneliness out there. But murder is a different matter. Then you think... I don't know, Miss Lane. I don't know anything for certain. But Duncan wasn't with me when Jim Fulton died. He slipped out of the room when I was six in the And afterwards, his face was scratched as if it had been torn by thin nails. I see. Horrible to think about it. My own husband. There, there, Mrs. Mills. We understand. You'll take him back. Will you promise me that? We'll see you, Mrs. Mills. Please. Please, Mr. Cranston. I'm really frightened now. I don't know who he'll pick to murder next. <laughs> Oh, these awful 
wine and stairs. And I keep seeing ghostly shapes dancing along the wall. Your shadows, Margot. <laughs> Being with me, you shouldn't mind that. I prefer to have you solid at this moment. What are we going to do up at the town? Oh, just look over the scene of the crime, so to speak. But after what Mrs. Mills told us, there's not much doubt that the old man must have met his name spoken. Obviously, he's mad as a hat. I wonder. Just before the thunderstorm broke, he completely changed his tone. You mean when he accused you of blackmailing about some secret matter? Yes. Suddenly he sounded as shrewd as an old miser. I'm sure you're reading things into it, though. Maybe. On the other hand. Yes? Sounds like it. No, no, he's leaning against the wall. He's throwing your shadow. Hey, darling, and get this firmly into your mind. There's no such thing as a ghost. He's ever coming, he's made of flesh and blood, and we're ready for him. Oh. Come on, we'll find out what's happened. Watch it, Margot. There may be some trick. That mad old man is at it again. Oh! Steady, Lord. Lord, streaks with blood. Oh. 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 It's the lighthouse keeper. Oh. Old fashioned cutlass clear through his back. Oh, how awful. Oh. Mills. Mills, it's Lamont Cranston. They have never get the secret from me. I'll. Carry it to my grave. Come on, what are you talking about? Money is mine. They'll never find where it's hidden. Money? Thinking fast, Margot. The mills you haven't much strength left. Tell us who stabbed you. Bill Sire Blake. Now, Blake, but that's impossible. I tell you, I saw him. He came up behind me on stairs. He's had that patch over his eyes. He had the cutlass ready. But Josiah Blake is dead. He's been dead for 150 years. You must believe me, Mr. Branson, I swear to you, on the word of a dying man, Josiah Blake drove in the field. But he'll kill, keep on killing till all of you are dead. Chris Mills. <laughs> dead. Convinced to the end that he was murdered by a ghost. return to the shadow in just a moment. Now let me tell you about the greatest labor-saving device you can possibly put in your home. It's the new Blue Coal Temp Master, the amazing heat regulator that automatically opens and closes the dampers of your furnace. I say it's the greatest labor saver you can have because while vacuum cleaners are great, washing machines and electric mixers are fine, only your Blue Coal Temp Master is on the job all the time, 24 hours a day. The Temp Master keeps your home always at a constant, even, healthful temperature, without any necessity of running up and down stairs to adjust furnace control. Call your Blue Coal dealer and ask for a free demonstration of the Blue Coal Temp Master. You'll be truly amazed at the marvelous convenience a Temp Master will bring your home, and delighted to discover how inexpensively a Temp Master can be installed. What's more, in addition to the carefree heating comfort that a Temp Master brings you, you'll find that it actually saves fuel. A lot of fuel. Each temp master is unconditionally guaranteed for five years. Only blue coal dealers have the new temp master, so call the nearest blue coal dealer tomorrow and arrange for a demonstration. He's listed in the classified section of your telephone directory. And now, back to the shadow. <laughs> There have been two deaths in a haunted lighthouse. A young man hurled from the top of the tower, and now the old keeper stabbed through the heart with a cutlass. A few minutes later now, and Margot and Lamont stand by the body, trying to put together the pieces of the ghostly riddle. Well, at least we know now that old Duncan Mills had a secret he was trying to protect, Margot. Yes, and that it was concerned with money. Right. Solid motive for murder. But if it's as simple as that, why all the elaborate masquerade about Captain Josiah Blake? And why was Jim Fulton killed? I'm willing to bet he had some kind of damaging information. He had to die so they would never talk. 
Who do you suspect him of? I can't tell you, darling. I think I'll tackle the woman first. Lila? I've already caught her in one lie. She did her best to convince us that her husband killed Jim Fulton. We know now that was impossible. You think she'll talk to Mark? Not to Cranston, perhaps. But she may to the shadow. wrong with me? Why am I shivering like this? I'm not afraid of the storm. I never have been before. There's something wrong. It's as if someone or something was in this room, but I can't see anyone. Who's there? Don't be nervous, Mrs. Mills. Who are you? Can't you guess? Duncan? No, Mrs. Mills. He's dead. I'm very much alive. Duncan, dead? Yes. A few minutes ago, stabbed through the back with an old-fashioned cutlass. Oh, then you must be Captain Josiah. Yes, again, Mrs. Mills. I'm not a ghost. I haven't got a cutlass or a patch over my eye and a long black cloak. Oh, stop torturing me. Tell me who you are. Only a shadow. <laughs> what do you want? The truth this time. No more the lies you told, Cranston. Who killed Jim Fulton, the husband? I don't know. I've warned you, Mrs. Mills. I don't know, Shadow. I swear to you. Yet you wanted your husband out of the way. You asked Cranston to take him back to the mainland. Why was that? I'd fallen in love with somebody else. With Bert? Yes. So, you tried to drive your husband mad. Have him shut up in a lunatic asylum so that you and Bert... Duncan was an old man. Eccentric. He never cared for me. You thought that together you and Bert could find the money. The, the money? Shadow knows all about that, too, Mrs. Mills. Where is it hidden? I don't know. You're lying. Duncan, they never would tell us. All we knew was that there was a map somewhere. Jim Fulton once saw it. Now that's why Bert murdered him. No. Why he killed your husband, too, to get possession of the map. You're wrong, Shadow. We'll soon find out about that. We'll find out something else, too. What? If you've lied to me, Mrs. Mills. Or if you have, remember, the Shadow will be back. <laughs> That's funny. Why don't you tell Cranston the whole story? Story? What story? I know what's going on here. I know what you're up to. I don't know what you're talking about. You and Nyla. It was a pretty little plot you worked out. Have the old man crazy, find out where he hid the money, and then... You don't know nothing about it, nothing. Blind? I've been coming out of the lighthouse for years now. I saw the two of you at work. So did Jim. Now, let's... That's why you killed him. He saw something we shouldn't have. Didn't. You're crazy. You couldn't have seen the map. Lila has that. She... And I listen strong. You better tell Cranston, Bert. You better tell him the whole story. I'm not telling nobody anything. Mm-hmm. I'll set him for you. You open your trap to Cranston. I'll... Ah! Let's kill you. you crazy fool. I'm warning you, Mr. Strong. I'll kill you. Kill you. I'll kill you. I'll get this trap. I want that money thing. I'll kill anybody that gets in my way. You or Lila or nobody else is going to stop me from getting that money. <laughs> Congratulations, Lamont. Hmm? For the last half hour, you've been at your most exasperating best. How's that, darling? Walking me around this desolate little island in the middle of the night without a word of explanation. I think that's what we're looking for right ahead on the beach. What is it? Skeleton of an old ship. I spotted it from the tower window. But, darling, why your sudden interest in Rick when there's still a murder? I think this will help narrow down the chase. We can find out its name. I'll use my flash. There it is on that plank. A marina. Marina? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just as I thought. Come on. You don't mean this was the old ship on which Captain Josiah... Oh, no, 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 no. As I remember the story, the marina was wrecked only a few years ago. Well, at least now we know what the shooting's all about. I'm glad you do. You'll learn, darling. 
till we paid a little call on our young friend, Bert. Careful, darling. First door straight ahead. We've had plenty of time to get ready for it. Okay. Yes. Something down the door. It sounds like something swinging back and forth. You better get in there, Pastor. Is it locked? No. Something seems to be holding it. Ah, it's opening up to squeeze through. Yeah, I'll go first. Watch it. Oh. The floor seems all dug up. Yes. So dark in here. Oh. What is it, Ellen? Oh. Something swung against my face. Mother, I felt something. Wait a minute. I found a light. Why? Oh. She's been hanged. Oh, horrible. That's why that hole dug in the floor. You mean... Yes, that's where the money was hidden. The $20,000 Duncan Mills stole from the marina. What? The old man had hid the cashier, and then when his mind began to go, he made a map of the hiding place. And Lila must have found the map. Exactly. Someone else caught up with her and killed her for that precious piece of paper. Great. Looks like it. Probably hightailed it now for the launch to get away from the island. You've got to stop him, Lamont. No, not you, darling. Here. Take my gun. Climb to the tower. You'll be safe up there. I'll be with you as soon as the shadow has captured this so-called phantom of the lighthouse. Oh, thank heavens that climb is over. Whew. for hurting you, ma'am. Oh. But I had to get possession of that wicked-looking pistol. Who, who are you? Captain Josiah Blake, at your service. What do you want with me? The prophecy must be fulfilled. The prophecy I wrote so many years ago in my diary. What? I am the master of this lighthouse. I warned people that they must not come here. They would not permit it. But they disobeyed me. Paid with their lives. You mean... Already since the sun rose, they have killed the old man and his wife and the captain of that supply of us. It's strong, too. Now there only remains you and that interfering friend. Aren't you forgetting someone else? Captain Josiah Blake? Who do you mean? Bert. Or perhaps you've only forgotten him because Bert happens to be masquerading here in front of me. Not for that. I notice you're keeping well in the shadows, hiding behind that cloak. Well, see if you're still joking, you're flying through space. Oh. Come, my girl. Out on the catwalk. No, no, let's go! I'll keep this I'll be easier to deal with. How'd you go? Fire, Blake. Who was that? Someone's coming up the stairs. I'm coming for you, Josiah Blake. You don't get footsteps. Who are you? The shadow, Josiah. <laughs> You'll never get up those stairs if you're a man with a body. How will you stop me? Like this! <laughs> Coming, Josiah. You've been lucky. But this time... Your revolver's empty, Josiah, and I'm still coming. I'll stop you with my cutlass. Here, behind you. I'll get to you. I'll get... No use to fire your game, Slater. It's the end of the Phantom of the Lighthouse. got to just tie before he could push you off. Uh, is that him on the floor? Yes. Tripped on the stairs. Knocked himself out trying to get away from the shadow. I must hand it to him. The sky was perfect. I never suspected Bird of having so much theatrical talent. You're wrong, darling. Here, look at him without the eye patch and hat. There. Mr. Straw. Right. He's played a ghost for the last time. Rather, the last time before he's hung for murder. <laughs> Feels good to get back on the solid mainland once more. Yes, very good. 
When did you find out it was strong? Only after I reached the dock and found Bert struggling desperately to start the engine of the launch. But didn't that make him seem guilty? Yes, except that he didn't have the money with him. Then I knew it must be strong. Why did Strong go up to the lighthouse tower after he had that bundle of cash in his hands? Why didn't he make it the launch? That's what he intended. We walked in on him down in that room too soon. Mm. All he could do was slip up to the tower. Well, then all the time I was climbing up, he was there hiding. Yes, Margot, disguised as Captain Josiah Blake. I suppose the old pirate has always been a kind of hero of Strong. Well, if so, he's going to end in the same way. Because in actual fact, Josiah Blake was finally captured in the lighthouse and hung. Now let me present Blue Coal's distinguished heating authority, John Barclay. Thank you, Andre Baruch, and good evening, friends. Summer is still lingering, but the calendar says fall is fast approaching, and one of these days it's going to get cold quickly. Now is the time to get your furnace cleaned up, repaired, and put it in first-class condition. And your Blue Coal dealers demand to do the job for you. Blue Coal dealers have special equipment and train men to do a thorough cleaning job that's quick, dusty, and inexpensive. They'll make any necessary minor repairs as well. Actual records prove that a clean, efficient furnace will sometimes burn 20% less fuel. Get in touch with your Blue Coal dealer before cold weather comes. Better call him first thing tomorrow. I thank you. This story is copyrighted by Street and Smith Publications, Incorporated. The characters, names, places, and plot are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Again next week, the shadow will demonstrate that the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs> Next week, same time, same station, your friendly blue coal dealer brings you another strange and thrilling adventure in the shadow's daring battle against the forces of evil. The shadow is presented by the DL&W Coal Company, distributors of blue coal. Lamont Cranston is played by Brett Morrison. Margot by Grace Matthews. Your announcer is Andre Baruch. Remember, it's blue coal for finest heating service. It's blue coal for finest modern equipment. It's blue coal for the best home heat money can buy. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.